Remember that horrible song, The Coconut? Today, Denny Kangaroo sings his own version on the Linus the Lionhearted Show. I made that picnic sign you wanted. Good. Tack it up on a tree. Right now, Governor. Holy smokes, Linus. That tree just hit me. Nonsense. Do not say ridiculous things. Here. Sasha Grouse started a singing group called the Boys. And all of a sudden, everybody was doing that song, The Coconut. You couldn't escape it. Now the jungle is a real green scene. Now the jungle is a real green scene. And if you really want to call it your dean. The Boys signed autographs. They had their pictures taken for the newspapers. Well, they're making another personal appearance over there, but something funny has happened. Let's take a look. See? Same music, same song, but suddenly, for some reason, no audience. What's the matter with this nightclub? It's depressing. They must not have told people that the birds are going to be here. Come on, come on, let's blow this joint. And if you really want to know what's what... What's that? It's coming from the safari room. Let's go look. All right now, quiet down. Maybe I'll sing you one more chorus of my famous lychee nut song. Oh, you Oh, I love that. Hey, nut song. Oh, boy, that's a hit for Carney. Lychee nut song? The jungle is a real hot spot. Now the jungle is a real hot spot. And if you really want to know what's what, and if you really want to know what's what, Denny Kangaroo's leeching that song is good, ridiculous. Come on, we're all going 
over to the swamp room to hear the worms. Who are the worms? What about Denny Kangaroo? He's only one singer. This is three singers. It's the latest thing. No! Well, he's gaining on us. Quick, grab those coconuts. He's throwing enormous sticky fuzzy doodles at us. Look, one stuck on me head. And one on my mane. Ow, ow. Think of something, Governor. I'm trying, but I can't. Sugar's tune, Big Benji. Twinkles the toesies, makes anyone who hears it start dancing, whether they want to or not. Says you, I don't believe it. Very well, to demonstrate. Ba -bum -ba -dum -bum -bum. Now Sugar's tune is so entrancing, it results in instant dancing. Sugar's tune so suits your prancing fancy, that there's no perchance. You just gotta dance. Hey. Got a dance, eh? Hey? <laughs> oh, that crooning flea bag has played right into my oily hands. <laughs> may I? <laughs> As you may guess, I have a scheme, and that scheme is sure a dream. My scheme will have you shortly screaming. <laughs> it's a brilliant plan by that Mervyn man. <laughs> Sweet William. <laughs> Bonehead, put on the earmuffs. Sick him. Hello. See you at my place, gang. <laughs> These signs of fiend, you're a spoil sport. This record here will keep you busy, will keep you dancing till you're dizzy, till you fly in this sizzly, grizzly snare <laughs> to a cinder bear. <laughs> Using a man's own song against him, how low can you stoop? You are now in a minefield. Minefield? So, uh, yes, dance. Seems like I'm in quite the pickle. The chances aren't worth quite a nickel. How can I escape this particular doom? On Granny's boom. Help! Sugar plum! Hey, in there! Courage, kids. Sugar's coming for his customary rescue. He fit up your dancing for home. Stepped on a land mine, uh, but lucky you, that mine was tiny. tiny? There are big ones there. <laughs> That'll part your hair. <laughs> Gonna pass the buck to the Mervyn clock. Clock, eh? Sickle. 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 Bungled 
it again. I'll see you served with cranberry sauce. Now for a change of musical pace, a lovely ballad that always rates a big knot on the heart parade. The next dance is mind. No, he wouldn't. He couldn't. He can't. He can't! You saved us from Mervyn's trickery. And from his mind, he'll derp sickery. When it comes to trickery, Merv is hick stuff. Hickory dickory duck. You clean Mervyn's clock. Hickory dickory duck. Hickory dickory duck. You sure fix that click. Er, cl uh, uh, I meant to say uh, cluck. Tree is still after us, and we're still running. Wait, this rubber plank gives me an idea. Come and get me if you can. You're a bloomin' genius, you bloke ship. That'll teach him to mess around with King Linus. He's knocked out cold. Good, let's go. Lines, help. He's got me. of our show, The Amazing Flying Dog. <laughs> fly, you idiot. Believe me, he can fly. I said fly. <laughs> That's enough. The rope, it's, it's been cut. That's right, and by me, too. <laughs> Stop me! Arrest that man! Go, Bertie, and fire! Come here, you... Oh. Hey! When I get you alone, I'll... You'll what? Bertie, I don't like Richard Harry nearly any more than you do. We can't let him kill himself in a fall like that. Try to help him. Don't bother me now, you mangy creep. Play me for a fool, will you? Hey, you darn fool! Thank you, thank you very much. Their cheers will turn to jeers when I get through with him. Richard, hurry nearly. You better not touch that rope. Really? Ta-da! Hey, you better let Bertie out of that net. Really? Then you'd better make me. All right, I will.
You'll get a bang out of this, Richard Harry nearly. <laughs> Sitting in the audience, I saw the whole silly thing. You're gonna get another medal, lovable truly, you great guy, you. Thank you, but Bertie and I are more interested in seeing Richard Harry nearly end up behind bars. I am behind bars. Or are you too dull-witted to notice? That troublemaking tree has grabbed Billy Kangaroo. Oh, don't, don't eat me. Kangaroos are sour, ask anyone. Hold him down for the count of ten. One, two, three, four, five, seven, six, six, seven, eight, right, right to ten. Greetings, children, friends. Today we have story of the fisherman and the wishes. Sea fisherman. Fisherman, very poor. But one day he make rich catch. Oh boy. I get nickel for this bottle. And throw away fortune in fish. No wonder you poor. But when fisherman pull cork from bottle, smoke come out. Smoke make big cloud. Then suddenly fisherman hear voice in smoke. I Talking smoke? I, magic genie, I held prisoner in Bato for thousand years. Bato, thousand years old? Maybe I only get two pennies. And because you free me, hold breath now, I grant you anything you wish. No thanks. No thanks? Already got the bottle. It's worth at least two pennies. Maybe even nickel. What else could I want? What else? Poof. This else. Some smart little water buggy, eh? Hey? Too high to fish from. Give back robot. Fisherman explain to Genie. He simple soul with simple wants. Ah, then how about a simple poof? Palace. Some shack, eh? Too big, probably drafty. While fishermen go to get money for bottle, Genie keep offering wishes. Please, you must wish for something, anything. Anything? Then I wish for jelly sandwich. You can wish for anything, and you ask for jelly sandwich? I'm hungry. Fisherman eat sandwich, thank Genie, and go to get deposit money back from bottle. Genie not go, because he mad at Fisherman for only wishing for jelly sandwich. Genie call after Fisherman. In all my centuries, that the most humiliating, least imaginative, smallest time wish I ever had wished. Well, where your big deposit money? Storekeeper say, no deposit on that bottle. Then he get mad at me and say, we no need all bottles in this store. Get lost. He not give me nickel. He not even give me two pennies. Why you not wish for money? I not think of that. Okay. I wish for nickel. Nickel, indeed. I talking big money. Poof. Where you get this money? I make it. You wish I make it myself. 
That's how genies always work. Then, this not real money, it counterfeit. But you not understand. I understand you, big crook. You make counterfeit money. I wish I never let you out of bottle. You wish? No, please. Unwish, unwish quick, change mind. Help me, help me, help me. I make that wish by mistake, but now I not change mind. You crook, you stay in bottle. Stay. Moral of story, honorable children friend. Time spent wishing for happiness, not worth two cents. That lie! Give me fair chance and I show you so! Remember how that blooming tree was giving King Linus the airplane spin? Well, he's still spinning. Hey, you big ugly bloke, you put King Linus down. Okay. <laughs> Wait, give me a match. Thanks. until that fire is completely out. That's right, Linus doesn't want his kingdom burning up because of your carelessness. Right, and you kids, you do what you can to prevent forest fires. See you all next week. And be prompt too. You might miss something terrific. You might not too. Lion-hearted friendship.